is going on, everybody? <clears throat> it's uh, September 20th, 2024, in beautiful Big Bear, California. Um, obviously, we're still dealing with the fires. This is not a line fire update. This is actually a weather update, which is what this channel is usually all about, for those of you who are fairly new. But of course, I will... Uh, give a line fire update while we're doing this but this is about the pretty strong thunderstorms that we have in the area right now which is exciting i'm just a little bit concerned if we get too much dry lightning uh it can cause problems and, and we don't want that <clears throat> so we're at 53 percent containment the fires burned 39,232 acres um there are no mandatory evacuations anywhere on the mountain anymore still a few warnings like in running springs around 3:30 and 18 that little neighborhood and uh, a couple more but that's, that's about it but yeah guys look at look at this look at how amazing this looks up there just kind of feels like florida and looks like it too with those dark nasty scary clouds but anyway, hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. It's about 12, it's about noon, as I said, on September 20th. And I believe it's Friday the 20th. I gotta tell you guys something. This smell of rain, the petrichor is, I always forget the name. But uh, it is so refreshing to smell this and not smell smoke. And I am certainly hoping that these thunderstorms will go right on top of this fire and absolutely unleash a ton of rain. So fingers crossed everybody, because maybe that 53% will go up significantly tonight. And just so we're not waiting at the stoplight, I'll shut it off for a second. There's a sign at this middle school that that lights up that says like homework club. Come to the homework club. Gosh, I don't miss school. <laughs> I really don't. I despised homework. So yeah, we're just gonna do a little little tour around this part of town and then we're gonna head over towards where the storms are even heavier. Big Bear City side of town. I, I really do love this place. As I've mentioned before, for those of you who are fairly new here, I hope you do stick around for the uh, wintertime videos. That's what this channel is typically known for, for our snow videos and uh, just documenting all the snowfall we've got going in this beautiful town. And it's a lot of snowfall. I mean, for Southern California, it's a lot of snowfall. For those of you who live in other mountain ranges, uh, it's not a lot at all. I think we average maybe about 70 to 75 inches a year. But that's the average. Some years we can see well over 100, and some years we can see, you know, less less than 50. So we're gonna cut through here. We're gonna be driving right along the lake over here, next to some lakefront properties. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch some lightning on this drive. That would be great. Again. It is concerning because uh, we, we do get a lot of our fires started because of lightning, not because of a total douche like this last one. Even though that is something that's fairly prominent in all these fires all over the place is uh, really sick people. such a beautiful blue sky right there.
those of you who come up here also, just so you know, our mountain transportation, our trolleys and all that stuff, it's free. So you don't have to pay to ride it. And it's pretty darn thorough. I think they come through about every 15 minutes or so. And you can get anywhere in town within minutes. It's pretty awesome. Here, we're gonna head back up through here to get back to Big Bear Boulevard and head to the other side of town. Oh yeah. Ten years ago when I moved up here, all these properties were so much cheaper than you would ever imagine for a tourist town. It was way cheaper than anything, for the most part, in most of Southern California. And now, ten years later, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's not fair. But for the homeowners who have owned property for years, I'm super happy for you. Alright, sometimes my dumb phone just dies out of nowhere, not dies, but I think I accidentally like push the volume button and then it shuts off the phone, but yeah, we're driving through a little neighborhood to get back to Big Bear Boulevard. This neighborhood, y'all, is really close to our, our world famous Big Bear Village, which has restaurant upon restaurant and shops and jewelry stores. This might sound a little snooty, but I wish we had like Aspen and Tahoe and those type of places, style of uh, shops. Like this is, this is gonna sound so stupid, like Gucci and Prada and stuff like that. I wish we had them up here too, you know? But not that I could go in there and shop much. And maybe it's good that they aren't here because my wife would be hounding me. <laughs> You're like, oh, just put it on the credit. <laughs> she deserves it all, though. She does. She puts up with me. If you guys only knew how much of a pain in the in the rear I am. But that is a patient woman who deals with me. I'm always working, you guys. I'm always working. With my regular job which I do while I'm doing these videos also because I have to um, I work about 60 to 70 hours every week minimum for eight and a half straight years and then I've got this channel once we get we come in in the winter time I'm I'm at least doing this channel probably 40 hours a week or more because I'm constant like it's it's never-ending comments and I like to respond to everybody My other car will be uh, complete in a, a few days. So I get to go pick up my other car and then park this, my brand new car, again. I wanted to keep the miles super low on this thing and just drive it when I needed to. Um, just in case times do get tougher and I have to sell it because I don't want to miss any, any payments ever. Credit's an important thing. It's really important to have good credit for emergencies, you know, <coughs> and I don't want that option taken away from me. I've worked really hard to build up my credit. But I found out some, some news about my car that's, that's being fixed when they pulled some stuff apart, it, they noticed from the previous fix, when I got in my first accident I've ever been in, um, <clears throat> they said that the other auto shop did like really uh, kind of shady work and shortcuts and did stuff that shouldn't be done and um, used wrong, wrong parts and stuff just to 
but since it was underneath the bumper and uh, next to the, the radiator, I wouldn't see any of it. They also pointed out some fitment issues, which I didn't notice until, you know, they pointed it out and yeah. So, but the good thing is this other body shop who, who fixed my car through Mercury Insurance two years ago, um, they are happy to take the car back and they had this other shop explain to them what kind of shoddy work they did and they're, they're going to fix everything. Their fixes or their repairs are warranted for life. So that's fantastic. But anyway, again, those of you who are here, who are new, like I just, I ramble, talk about what's going on in my life. And, but yeah, if you look straight ahead, the storms are getting thicker, darker, and typically that's a, a clear sign of our monsoon because our monsoon storms come in from the desert side of this mountain range, and that is the desert side. Our snowstorms come in from behind us, but this is coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. At least the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and being pushed out all the way out here. And something pretty cool about the monsoon that we get in the southwest is basically this mountain range is the very end of it. The storms do sometimes hop into Redlands and San Bernardino, but they'll travel from the Gulf all the way here and then they won't get past our mountain range. So we're as far west as they go typically, which is pretty cool. I'm glad we get them. But I'm really hoping this one and that nastiness straight ahead comes this way. Oh, there's some lightning. You see it? Sweet. Yeah, we're going to be driving right into it. That is so awesome. So we're gonna go across the lake and take the North Shore to where I need to go right now. Because then there are some parts that will really open up and give us some uh, some really nice views of this of these thunderstorms. But yeah, I mean, looks like a lot of people have have returned home, and it's it's a really beautiful thing to see. A lot, a lot more cars up here as opposed to just a few days ago where during the day I could drive most of this boulevard without passing a single car other than a fire truck. out there 
Don't forget, last year we had a chance for snow on September 30th. But the storm system just slid by and we just missed it. But we could have had our first snowfall in September last year. Um, typically, we'll probably see a snowfall in October, maybe every other year since I've lived here or every few years. But November, that's when the snow really starts flying up here. If you guys keep your eyes open straight ahead, maybe we'll catch a nice lightning bolt. That is so pretty out there. I'll turn it off at the light. But I well, I don't want us to miss a lightning bolt, so I'll I'll keep it on. See with the dash cam. There we go. Or not. Oh, they're gonna let this guy go first. That's fine. Boy, this would be a big waste of time that I kept the camera on if we don't get any lightning bolts right here. We get really good thunderstorms up here, you guys. I come from the beach about 100 miles away and it's super rare to get thunderstorms there. I think maybe once every year we might see a thunderstorm, but it's it's extremely rare. Here, we can have, you know, every week multiple thunderstorms during the summertime. That's looking out towards where the fire is. Oh, it's it's so great to see how thick these clouds are over there too. I just caught a lightning bolt in my periphery. Periphery. Oh, another one. Another one. And by the way, other people that I, I, I haven't thanked nearly as much as the firefighters, and I feel bad about it because uh, they're the ones who made us feel safe when we left town, was the National Guard. Seeing these military trucks up here and people in their military attire was uh, pretty neat, pretty darn neat. Well, I think the very first short that I ever did on, uh, and back then this channel didn't have short or YouTube didn't have shorts, but it was like a, maybe like a 20 second video. If you check it out in the short section, <clears throat> it was thunder. I caught <clears throat> a lightning bolt out of the window of my house and it was right in front of my house and as soon as you saw the bolt the thunder absolutely shook the heck out of the house and you could hear in my voice I'm freaking out because the whole house was rocking <laughs> it was crazy it was crazy needed a nice wash so this is good so yeah 
uh, parts of this road here, you get these big open shots over here. city now so up here up oh, there's another lightning bolt up here it's uh you have big bear lake and big bear city they're two different zip codes two different post offices we also have fawn skin did you did you just hear that i hope so that was some roaring thunder um sugarloaf has its own post office and I don't know if Irwin or Baldwin do. I can't wait to see snow everywhere. This place is so gorgeous with snow. It is without it, but it's, it's really, really pretty with snow. that direction to try to get into some of the heavier stuff here. And we'll be coming back to Big Bear Boulevard. drive up to a little area called Sugarloaf, you guys. Once we get past all this traffic coming this way. This car does have a turbo, so I could go, but I don't like doing that. Like I could have easily gone right now, but you got this guy over here. He wouldn't have been too thrilled. all this rain. I see it all the time up here. <clears throat> Don't forget, <laughs> if a school bus pulls over on that side of the road over there and puts their stop signs up, we stop too on this side. I see people always just driving through and uh, that's a no-no, super dangerous for the, for the little ones, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big find too, as it should be. 
We gotta protect the kids. That's why we gotta keep them out of public schools too. But our our school district up school district up here, I think, has a pretty great rating. Just like anything in life, as parents, we gotta make the right decisions. All right, so this stoplight, we're turning right to head up to Sugarloaf. And then when we come back down, we'll end the video after we get the nice view from up top of the hill. This hill in the winter time, you guys, this thing becomes super treacherous. Super, super treacherous. one beautiful lightning bolt and as I said it'll be right there where I'm pointing passing Big Bear's little cemetery I hate thinking about cemeteries right now but Here is Big Bear High School. They're adding all this new, these new fields and stuff like that, which is great. Good to see all that money being invested in the kids. I love it. Okay, if it looks a little different from where we just were, it's because as I told you, I, I work while I'm doing the videos because I have to. So I just shut it off and uh, for privacy. Of the people. So we're gonna head back down. Hopefully, it'll produce a nice view coming down Maple. And then this video will be done. At least we had about four or five lightning strikes during the video. Not many directly in front of us, if any but there were definitely some lightning bolts out there. And again, a nice amount of rain and it's supposed to pick up a little bit more in the next 30 minutes and then be done. new field and stands and bleachers that they've been building here at Big Bear High School. <clears throat> I remember as a kid in Newport Beach when our sports teams would play a lot of the Inland Empire teams we would get our butts handed to us. Some of the teams I was on were super dominant though but most of the time I remember being a bit intimidated 
because these kids were tough. <laughs> these kids were really tough. That's Big Bear High School. And there is Big Bear Police Department. Or Big Bear Sheriff's driving past us. Yeah, this is the last view I was talking about. And again, if you're ever in Big Bear in, in the wintertime, there's another way up to Sugarloaf so you don't have to take this street, Maple. This street ices up, and I don't care if chains, snow tires, snow tires and chains, it's, it's not going to matter in some cases. You will see cars just sliding into each other um, like nothing. And there's this big ditch to the left. Every winter I see ma multiple cars in that nasty ditch. So just be very, very careful. All right, you guys, I think we're good for now. Thank you for cruising. Again, I pride myself on recording every weather event that we get in this town since I've lived here. I've literally missed, I believe, one, and that was when I was visiting my father two months ago. I just went to see him three weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago when he passed away. But two months ago, um, there was a, a thunderstorm out here and I was so upset because I'm very OCD about this stuff like I don't want to miss anything so I was like like that was killing me like it's all I could think about was how could I have missed a storm like I, I yeah I, I try to book my flights a, a, like a couple weeks in advance so I can at least see what the weather's like I'll, I'll, I'll never go anywhere in the winter time because uh yeah there's there's nothing that could ever stop me from catching every single snowflake in this town but anyway thank you guys again for all the support once again our our fire is uh probably in most cases being assisted today if the cloud to ground lightning can stay away we'll be in really great shape i can't wait to see the containment tomorrow anyway thanks again everybody hope you have a wonderful rest of your day hope you enjoy the videos and we will see you the next storm or maybe one last final fire update in a couple days. Peace out.